No. No. Where is it? Hey guys. That's <laughs> just stupid intro. I'll get right to the chase. I am not posting a college decision reaction video. You know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I have a reason why. So 2020, crazy year. We got the whole pandemic. A bunch of events were occurring that definitely changed how we live our lives on the daily. College application process has especially been affected. What with everything being virtual and just a lot of people not being able to do the things that are normally happening pre-COVID. With college reaction videos, I grew up watching them. People getting into top tier schools, you know, schools, their dream schools, everything and whatnot. Sure, when you watch them all over the internet, yeah, they're so fun to watch, they're entertaining. And you just usually have a good feeling when you get to see a person getting into their dream school. <laughs> And sure, yeah, if you get into one of your dream schools or you get into a um, bunch of schools that you're proud of, um, you should definitely post it online. You know, it's great to share your accomplishments and go right for it. There's no disrespect towards that. But the reason why I'm not posting is because it is skewed away from the reality of what the college process is like. Is it in here? Uh... Now, the college process is very mentally draining, very stressful, and anxiety filled. Now there's so many highs and lows, and when you go on the internet, the majority of these college reaction videos are people getting into a plethora of their favorite schools and top tier schools that have acceptance rates below 10%, and sometimes even 5%. On YouTube, the only people you see are going to be the 5%, the 10% of the admitted students that get into these top schools. And I think that kind of presents the problem of what's representing the other 95, 90% of students. No, I can't, I can't find it anywhere. I have a couple friends who thought they had a fighting chance to get in the school of their dreams. And I'm sure they did, they were definitely qualified, but we all know that college applications can be pretty volatile when it comes to decisions. And the videos on the internet and especially YouTube represent the overwhelming minority of the students who did get into their schools. I don't know where it is. So to all the juniors out there, anyone that's actually preparing to apply to colleges in the near future, or even seniors who already got back their college decision, please do not compare these YouTube reaction videos to the reality of the college process. You shouldn't expect that their results on the internet are gonna be identical to yours. And honestly, I don't think the achievement of what schools you get into matter more than what you do with the college you go to. Because I know people that have done so well in academics, do so many extracurriculars with uh, top tier leadership uh, roles, and they haven't gotten to the schools of their choice. There's other... <laughs> because with these YouTube videos, there's always another side to it. And that side is rejection. I apologize to those who have posted the reaction videos online. Congratulations, uh, you shouldn't feel the need to listen to anything I say. Now, to replace this, I'm going to be posting my college decision video, but I can't find it. The school I'm looking for is one that is gonna be different from all the other schools. One that's gonna give me the adequate knowledge to understand what I'm pursuing. One that's gonna let me gain a new perspective in life. I'm looking for a school that'll make friendships last a lifetime. I'm looking for new opportunities, new experiences, and most of all, a great journey for me to go on. I need to find, I can't find it anywhere. Where is it? I have to find it. I have to. I can't find it anywhere. I mean, I've been looking and... <sighs> I thought I found it, but I guess it was wrong. <sighs> I couldn't find it.
You know, I told you how hectic this college application season was and I guess it just didn't come out right for me. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you, um... I wonder what that could be. I wonder what's in this box. Ah, oh, here we go. Moment of truth. Matthew Sue is class of 2025 to the University of Pennsylvania. That's right, I am going to Penn, which is in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Yeah, it's my college decision and I'm really happy about it. But again, please do not compare where you get into schools. It's more important about what you do with the school that you do attend. Start a new chapter of my life. Now, I will be going to UPenn's business school, which is called Wharton. Honestly, I'm so excited. I would have definitely not have gotten in or have had the opportunities that led to this acceptance if I just didn't have my family, my friends, the teachers, and just overwhelming support. I'm not even close to being famous at all on YouTube, so I can't even say you guys. No idea what I'm gonna do next. Maybe I'll be the next Elliot Choi. Hopefully this video's not as cringe as I hoped it would not be. If you're in high school, good luck. But yeah, it's just the beginning. Peace. Can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Whoa! That was I'm a beast!